morning, Musa. wonderful viewers. It's a rainy morning, and let's talk about the playing game. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, yeah. kindly click on the subscribe button and then do have. The blame game. The man replied, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the food and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What have you done? The serpent deceived me, she replied. That's why I ate it. We find that in Genesis 3 12 to 13, Adam blamed Eve, Eve blamed the serpent. Each pointed finger of responsibility elsewhere. Though both of them knew the rules and both of them failed to follow God's guidance, they never confessed their own participation in their disobedience to God. After all these years, we too continue to play the same blame game. We attribute all our difficulties on the government, society, and even on our families. If only this hadn't happened, or I just couldn't help it, justifies our behavior. We even blame restaurants for our obesity. Blaming becomes our excuse for bad decisions, actions, and lack of actions. God knew Adam and Eve had eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He came to them asking them what had happened, offering a chance to confess their disobedience. But they chose to avoid the truth. God knows when we fail to follow him. When our heart strays, he comes to ask, asking us to talk with him, to tell him about our transgressions. We know there will be consequences to any misbehavior, and it's hard to admit that we were wrong. God doesn't want our excuses. He wants us. We need to quit blaming and doing the blame game. One can never win with blame game. God is ready and stands to forgive us and receive us and love us. Let's quit the blame game as we go about our activities today. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.